on the front, you got your S, you got your SD card reader, right? This it's not unfortunately a micro SD card reader. Well, not unfortunately, as long as you have an adapter, you're in good shape. So, we got that. Why are you focusing, dude? Come on. Really, enough is enough. It's not focusing on the right thing. Whatever. SD card reader. Uh, that's a headphone jack. Next to it's a microphone jack. That is a USB-C 3.1 Gen 1 port. So, 5, 5 gigabits per second. Or something like that. Yeah. That is a, a USB-A. Um, those are 3.1 Gen 1s. So, fast port selection. And, very, and good port selection right on the front. So, you can pop things in and out real quick. To me, that's phenomenal. Because I'm constantly shooting stuff on my phone. And, uh... It definitely attracts fingerprints. Let's see that. <laughs> this is where it gets good now obviously depending on your the video card you got I got the the RTX 2060 so I got one HDMI 2.0 B port it transmits 4k at 60 Hertz with HDR I've done it tried it it's awesome uh, and a display port 1.4 port which gives you pretty much the same benefits and something called some some type of display port linking for monitors. Like if you have a monitor and you could display port it to another one and it'll, it'll I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. I don't really understand it, but it's got some type of functionality like that. So those are right there. Uh it looks like I got a VGA port for some reason. I'm not really sure why. I think that's on the graphics card too. Uh that's custom Thunder if you didn't if you don't ask for Thunderbolt 3 you won't have this right here. It's two USB C Thunderbolt 3 four lane ports, which is just awesome. See you can't really see it. Anywho, those were what I was just showing you. The HDMIs and the that's the video card port right there. That right there, that's my two USB C Thunderbolt 3 ports. Full four lanes each, and it has a display port output. That's not connected to anything. It has a display port input. I'm not really sure what to do with that. Maybe somebody could help me out. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. Anyway, those are your audio inputs. Uh, you know, I think it's got 5.1 channel audio. So front, left, and right surround port. Left and right line out. That would be 16. Where's 16? That would be this one. The one that. I have my stuff plugged into it. Front, left, and right. Uh, the one in the middle is rear, left, and right surround port. And the last one is the subwoofer surround port. So, yeah, that's five-channel That's five channel audio. Wow. That's amazing. I don't have, I have an, a five-channel thing, but I don't have those plugs. I have to figure that out. Anyway, <coughs> yeah. So, I got that. Those are USB 3 Gen 1s. They're four USB A ports, which is, I love the port, the port selection on this thing is incredible. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's just a US, that's actually a USB C 3.1 Gen 2 port. So that's your full 10 gigabits per second. That's a really fast USB C port. Not as fast as the Thunderbolt, but I think, I'm pretty sure it's about one tenth as fast. But the Thunderbolt 3 is really, really fast. It's 40 gigabytes per second. Or gigabits, gigabits per second. <clears throat> anyway, those are two full-size USB-A ports. That's where I got my upstream port for my monitor. Right there. <laughs> Why does this... F I'm having a focus problem. Anyway. Uh, yeah, those are two USB-As. And, uh... Ooh, that was a good idea. I moved up the exposure. And uh, that's your Ethernet port. Your gigabit, e gigabit Ethernet port. It doesn't have 10 gigabit net networking. I don't really need that. But um, that's it. That's the Ethernet port. I opted for Wi-Fi 6. So I have a Wi-Fi 6 router. So I have Wi-Fi 6 and Ethernet plugged into this thing. So as you can imagine, the the, uh, the Internet's a very fast process. It's There's no lagging. Killer, killer networking. I don't like it, but it does have a feature called uh, double shot. 
and double shot utilizes Wi-Fi and Ethernet at the same time so you can prioritize your traffic. It's more for a gaming. I'm not a gamer, so maybe I haven't seen its full power, but it's there. Alright, we'll try the front-facing camera. <laughs> um, you might want to skip this part if you don't actually have an XPS, because uh, I the ketchup just looks crazy right there. Um, made random. It's been here for like a day. I, most of my videos take place on the floor, so it's not really a big deal for me. Oh, that's a good angle, right? All right, let's go. Is that gonna fall? I really hope not. Okay. Anyway, can you see? Where's the flashlight? <laughs> Where's the flashlight? I don't know where the flashlight went. Seriously? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I know the lighting conditions suck so bad with me. The whole shooting conditions suck. I know that. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't have enough money for a real camera. I promise you that I'll get one. You know what I'm saying? But if I don't buy new stuff, I don't got any videos to shoot. These are big videos. It's fun. I love shooting this. Is it? Nobody watches it, I know. But whatever. Who cares? It's fun. YouTube told me I could buy people chicken sandwiches. Anyway, look. That is where you start. This latch right here on the top of the on the top of the unit. I should take this in portrait mode. See that latch? That's the one. You see that screw? God help us all. That screw is where you go first. I'm gonna unscrew it now. Hopefully you can catch it. I don't know how well this is, how how good this is gonna look. I really this sucks. All right, yeah, part up. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, come on, bud. Don't don't make a... Really? You're gonna... Okay. I gotta use two hands. So... Oh, oh, that's perfect. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Catch up and frame and everything. All right, let's go. One screw. I might have to use a different screw. Oh, no, there she goes. Now, I'm not really too aware of the uh, static issue. So hopefully I don't fry myself. I just unplugged it. I don't know if I gotta ground anything or I don't have gloves. It's just scary. So I don't really go too deep into it. Once you unscrew that, you're in. Pop. There's a there's a just pull and the side pops right off. Bang! Look at that. Now I'm gonna tell you right now it's a bitch to get on. So there's that. So I have another video. That's it. The side just pops right off. Then people are messaging me. Go away. Go away. <laughs> so, once you got her open, you can see what you're dealing with. You got everything you need. The the G the G force is right there. I don't, I don't know if you can see it. Fuck, I'm covering my own light. Oh, no, there she is, G force. See her? That's the 2060. It's probably the most expensive part of the entire operation. I didn't get this 9700K. How do I get this open? I forgot. Uh, okay, that does that. This swings open. Uh, I know that. Oh, look, look. So, okay, here we go. On the back, once you got the side panel off, you just grab the side and. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's locks. Hit the lock switches up, unlock everything. See what's going on? Just like that. Unlock everything. Then you're good to go. There goes the side. Just like that. You see what's happening? <laughs> Look at that. Like a butterfly wing. <laughs> Alright, here we are. There's the RTX 2060. Eh? A little Thunderbolt 3 card under. <clears throat> a little power supply where the cute little i7 sits. And bags are tame. RAM slots. So those are two eight gig sticks. It's gonna be so easy to slap two two get get get. It's gonna be so easy to slap two. Uh, oh, there's a M.2 right back there. That's the Samsung. Gotta tell you, man, that little that little bugger is fast. Wireless card, the sixteen fifty. 
I said, I mean, there, there was a deal. It's, 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 I mean, it's a small housing, that's for sure. This is probably the Z390, I guess. Um, regular motherboard. <laughs> I mean, it was it. That was the thing. Like, it's, it's supposed to be easy to upgrade. It looks easy enough. You know what I mean? Pop a couple ram slots in there. Pop, pop. Definitely gonna be populating all of them. As a matter of fact, before we go, I know you probably wanna see this. This is where it's at, man. I'm video editing right now. If I'm trimming, it might bump up to, you know, 70%, 4.2 on all cores. Like, it's it's just nice, man. Eight cores, eight threads, 12 megabyte L3 catch, which is nice. It speeds up the process of pretty much everything. 16 gigs of memory. I haven't really seen it go past 12, 13 yet. Uh, it's just doing what it's doing. I'm going to add more RAM and it's going to be even better. It's a terabyte hard drive. It's a nice thing to have. Super fast Samsung M.2 SSD, NVMe, PCIe version 3. It's just, it's just up there. Wi Fi 6. That, that's going, that's nice. Wi Fi 6. <laughs> Ethernet. Just everything's just humming along, man. All the cores are just hanging out. It's doing what it does. Video editing right now, almost done. And that's it. Yeah, so you see what's going on, man. Um, fantastic port selection. 8 core, i7-9700, no hyper threading, but let me tell you, I'm cutting along this video and trimming it up, and it, boy, it's a smooth experience, man. I'm probably really hyping it up because I'm used to that laptop, but damn, it's nice, man. It's just so nice. And then when the fan kicks on, it sounds like a Lamborghini engine. It's like, oh, like a low purr. So, you know, you, you, you see what's going on. You get you get what you get. This is pretty much the base model, aside from the Thunderbolt 3 and the Wi-Fi 6. Um, there's really nothing to it. On Dell.com, it was like 1500 just about. Or it came, yeah, it came to about $1,500. Um, and it's fully upgradable. That's the beauty of it. You can, you can add whatever you like. I'm going to put two Corsair Vengeance 8 gigabyte RAM sticks in this thing in about a couple months. And if I want to, I can upgrade to an NVIDIA friggin' 2080. You know what I'm saying? I can do whatever I want. I can slap a 9 on and a, and a, and a, and a bigger um, power supply. In here. You know what I mean? You can do whatever. It, you have it, It's at your fingertips. It's a nice unit, man. I really like it. I really like it. I haven't had a single problem with it. Everything runs like butter. It's just nice, man. It's nice. I, I don't know what else I can say about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh... I had to just do it just just because it's such a fun process now. Video editing isn't like a on that laptop. Video editing was like a like a like a fingers clenched. Oh, I hope I didn't freeze up and 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 the, it collapses the program and I lose everything. Now it's just swinging along, like a like a like a young child playing in a meadow, or a grasshopper hopping along blades of grass, avoiding feet. It's just nice. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. It, it, it's up to you. You might like something more flashy with RGB lights going and fans and water coolers and heat pipes coming out the sides. Like, you, you, that's my... Personally, I like the flat black, quiet, you know what I mean? In the corner, little sleeper. You know what I mean? Because this is a sleeper. That's it, man. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. Um, take care. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. And, uh... Have a great day, or have a great evening, or just go and do what you do. Peace. <laughs>